Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a decimal by a decimal. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 72 hundredths times 4 tenths. Now the three steps that we're going to take in order to solve these correctly are at the top of your screen. And step one, we remove or forget about any decimals and we rewrite the problem. So we can rewrite it as 72 times 4. Now these decimals will come back into play later in the problem. Step two, we multiply just like we would any other whole numbers. So 72 times four here, four times two is eight. And then four times seven is 28. And we get 288 there. That brings us to step three where we need to place the decimal correctly in our answer. So we go back up to our original problem and see how many digits are to the right or are behind a decimal, however you want to think of it. So we have this 7 here, this is 1, 2, and 3. I like circling them, that way I don't forget anything. So that 7, the 2, and the 4 are all to the right of a decimal. That means our answer needs to have three digits to the right or behind the decimal. So we can do one of two things. With a whole number, the decimal comes at the end here, and we can think of it like this, moving it in one, two, three, and placing the decimal here, and we get an answer of 288 thousandths, which is correct. Or we can take a look at I'm going to rewrite 288 here. We have one, two, three digits behind the decimal, and we can just place the decimal there. So a couple different ways of thinking of placing that decimal correctly, they both will give you the same answer. So our final answer is 288 thousandths. On to number two, where we have six and three tenths times two and nine tenths. So first step, remove and forget about any decimals, and we end up with 63 times 29. Now we multiply. Nine times three is 27. Nine times six is 54, plus two is 56. Done with the nine, done with the two. We're going a place to the left here, so we need our zero as we work our way over to the two. Two times three is six. Two times six is 12. So now we add our partial products together. Seven plus zero is seven. Six plus six is 12. One plus five is six. Plus two is eight. And we have our one over here. So we get 1,827. So we need to place our decimal correctly now. Take a look at the original problem, and we have one, two digits behind or to the right of a decimal. That means our answer needs to have the same thing, two digits behind the decimal. So we have one, two, and we can place our decimal here. So our final answer is 18 and 27 hundredths. So there you have it. There's how you multiply a decimal by a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.